Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our FCS playoff matchup preview presented by CollegeSportsJournal.com between the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. Let's start with Coastal Carolina in this ball game, and I think the battle has to be won for these guys on both sides of the line of scrimmage. If they can do that, if they can own the O-line and the D-line, I think they can have a real good chance of knocking off Bethune-Cookman. And they want to challenge the defensive discipline of the Wildcats. The way they do that, counters, misdirection, double moves in the passing game. I think that's how they can get those big plays downfield and get touchdowns against the Wildcats. And third down defense is key. Get these guys off the field, and that way you can run your offense, stay on pace, and chew up the T.O.P. Now let's move over to Bethune-Cookman in this ballgame. Very impressed with Brian Jenkins has done so far this year, his whole time there. And the size in the secondary Bethune-Cookman has matches up very well versus the big receivers of Coastal Carolina. They're going to have to win some of those battles above the rim, and we know Bethune-Cookman has a lot of athleticism on the flanks and on the defensive side at the corner position to win those battles. And defensive contain versus quarterback Aramis Hillary, Aramis Hillary, if they can keep him in the pocket, keep him bottled up, I think that goes a long way for Bethune-Cookman win this matchup. And I look for a heavy dose of Isidore Jackson, a very good running back in the backfield. You want to shrink this ball game. You want to make it come down to a possession or two in which you're fresh and ready to go. Big battle. Another good matchup in round one of the FCS playoffs. I actually like Bethune-Cookman. The reason why? The secondary. Those guys average 6 feet, 200 pounds, and they're athletic. They have the hands of wide receivers, and that's all you need when you're playing a team like Coastal Carolina that wants to go up top. Look for the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats to win this ballgame by coming away with key plays made by their secondary.